Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.35 from Sadiku book. So the question is use Stefanin theorem to find V0, V0 in the problem 4.12. Okay, this was the circuit from problem 4.12. And to use Stefanin theorem, we need to find out two things, which is the Stefanin voltage and that is open circuit voltage because we are looking for this v0 we will open this and calculate the open circuit voltage and then uh, the second one we will have this uh, what this is the Tevenin resistance okay so we will have two things which is the current source becomes open circuit and then voltage source becomes short circuits of course it will be seen from this 5 ohm resistor okay now let's see so now we need to draw the open circuit version of this circuit so we will take off this 5 ohm resistor Okay, so I have drawn the open circuit version of this circuit. So our goal is to calculate this VTH, which is the open circuit voltage of this 5 ohm resistor. And how do we find it? Yeah, using a regular circuit analysis. What can we do from here? I think we can do nodal analysis maybe. So we will have this as our ground, which the voltage here will be zero and let's name this node here as node a and let's name this node here as node b and so we take a node first that vth is va minus vb and so we need to find out va and vb and the first thing that we can do is using what KCL at node A. KCL at node A. And let's assume the current. So I'm assuming that the current is going like this. Okay, so this will be here. Okay, the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out. That is what KCL said. And the current that goes in in the node A is this one, which is 2 ampere. So let's write 2 here. And then plus this current here. So this node here will be 12, right? So that current will be 12 minus VA divided by 6. And then, the only current that goes out is this one. So I can put this equal sign and this current here because this is our ground. So we'll have Va minus 0. That will be Va divided by 3. Okay. So now let's do simple algebraic multi manipulation. So let's multiply both sides by 6 maybe. So I will have what 12 plus 12 minus va and then that will equal to 2 va we can move this minus va to the right hand side so i'll have 3 va and that will equal to 12 plus 12 will be 24 so i'll have va is equal to 8 volt. yeah so i'll have va is equal to 8 volt and then now let's find out SEL at node B. Again, let's rewrite the KCL. What KCL said, the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out. And the current that goes in is only this one. And that current is equal to 19 minus VB divided by 4. And then all the currents all the other currents is going up so i will have this current that here will be 2 and then plus this current that goes through here will be vb 
divided by 2. Okay, maybe let's multiply both sides by 4. So I will have what 19 minus VB will equal to 8 plus 2 VB. Yeah, 2 VB. And so I will have this move to the left, which is 11, is equal to 3 VB. And that means that VB will equal to 11 divided by 3 and that is 3.67 oh. okay now we have VA and VB so we can calculate the Thevenin voltage which is 9 minus 3.67 or we have VTH will be okay i'm bad at simple math so let's do maybe calculator yeah eight minus three point six seven this is four point thirty three okay six point thirty three four okay now we have in voltage and we still left with another task which is to find out the Thevenin resistance okay to find the Thevenin resistance we need to change the current source into open circuit and change the voltage source into short circuit okay let's do that okay now I have drawn this circuit where we replace this two ampere current source with open circuit so there is nothing here and then we replace this 12 volt here by short circuit so i replace it with short circuit here and then this 19 volt voltage source also replaced by short circuit so i will have this final circuit here and we need to calculate the Thevenin resistance which is seen from here okay so let's do some simplification here so on the left part we can have 6 parallel with 3 okay let's draw that 6 parallel with 3 on the left part and then it will be in series with this 4 parallel 12 so i will have 12 parallel 4 and this will be the Thevenin resistance of the circuit okay let's calculate this so i'll have 6 multiplied by 3 divided by 6 plus 3 and then for this one 12 multiplied by 4 divided by 12 plus 4 and that will equal to definite resistance okay this is 18 and this is 9 18 divided by 9 is 2 and then this is 48 48 divided by 16 that will be 3 we own and so i will have the definite resistance will be 5 ohm right so i will have 5 ohm okay so this is an important value to be safe here so i will have this Thevenin voltage is 4.33 and then the Thevenin resistance will be 5 ohm so now let's draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit so Thevenin equivalent circuit So we will have the Thevenin voltage, which is 4.33 volt. Yeah, I'm not making mistakes. I'll have 4.33 volt. And then I will have 5, not 5. Oh yeah, 5 ohm here as the Thevenin resistor. So this is the Thevenin circuit equivalent. But do not forget that we have this 5 ohm here as our load resistance. So we'll have 5 ohm here. And what is the question? We are asked to find out the V0 here. So we'll have V0 across this 5 ohm resistance. 
which is easily calculated using voltage divider. So I will have V0, that will be 5 over 10 multiplied by 4.33 or 0 0.5 multiplied by 4.33 and finally we will have V0 is equal to, okay, let's do calculator. This is divided by 2, right? Okay, I will have 2.17 volt. 2.17. And this is the final answer of this question. Hopefully, I did not make any mistakes. And let me know if I did in the comments. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.